Fire knows no boundaries, which is why Fire demands interagency cooperation. The Yellowstone ecosystem is a fire adapted ecosystem. We have a comprehensive plan that addresses cohesive fire strategies. It's important that we do that across boundaries. We really need to embrace the cohesive strategy. Western Wyoming is home to rugged mountains, diverse wildlife, and more than 30 communities that are at risk from wildfire. On average, over 10,000 acres burn in wildfires in Western Wyoming annually, across county, forest, and state lines. Fire knows no boundaries. Cohesive strategy promotes fire management across these boundaries, allowing multiple players to work together effectively. But what is cohesive strategy, and how does it work? The National Wildland Fire Cohesive Strategy is based on three tenets. Those three tenets are resilient landscapes, fire-adapted communities, and safe and effective fire response. And those are goals that we share across all boundaries. Private landowners, federal, state, county agencies all can buy into those goals because they help us be successful when a wildland fire occurs in our neighborhood. Today's environment includes hotter, drier, and longer fire seasons. Research also indicates poor ecosystem health. We see more insects and disease, unburned fuels building up, and an increasing number of homes in fire-prone areas. All of these pose a challenge to establishing and maintaining a fire-resilient landscape and contributes to the increasing risk of catastrophic wildfires which threatens communities. It is not if a wildfire will strike, but when. We, as a community, can choose how we prepare for a wildfire and how we respond. Knowing that the Yellowstone ecosystem is a fire adapted ecosystem, knowing that we are going to have fires across the landscape, what can we do? Well, we can work across boundaries and we can take the steps necessary to prepare ourselves when those fires do come across the landscape. It can take years for communities and local ecosystems to recover from a wildfire. Our quality of life is tied to our landscape. Each of us is affected by catastrophic wildfires. We believe it is completely necessary to maintain defensible space around our communities, not only to preserve the homes, but to preserve the quality of life. If we burn down the national forests around the homes, the quality of life goes down and also the watersheds are destroyed. And we believe it's also healthy for our economy. 77% of this county is public lands. If we burn down 10% of it, we may lose as much as 30% of our revenue. We do not want a catastrophic wildfire in Lincoln County like was there. Across the West, we are experiencing longer and more intense fire seasons. How can we use cohesive strategy to protect our communities? The answer is cooperation. Cohesive strategy is at its most effective when private and public stakeholders are sharing ideas, creating effective plans, and working together. So I've got a great collaborative with Teton Interagency Fire between Grand Teton National Park, the Bridger Teton Forest, the National Elk Refuge, uh, as well as Teton County Fire and EMS. So we've done a really good job of um, not only planning for wildfires together, but coordinating and responding to wildfires together. We really need to embrace the cohesive strategy in all aspects of it. Fire resilient landscapes, we need to be using all our tools to work towards those fire resilient landscapes. Fire adapted communities, we need to be using every avenue to get more work done on private lands and educate more private citizens on the things they can be doing proactively before the fire occurs. And lastly, we need to do everything we can to work together in cooperation to ensure we're safely and effectively responding to these fires and doing what we can to manage these fires. In our next videos, we'll take a closer look at each tenant of cohesive strategy. We'll look at how to develop fire resilient landscapes and see how fire plays an important role in Wyoming's ecosystems. We'll see what a fire adapted community looks like and how our community can work towards that goal. Finally, we'll look at the most effective and safest ways to respond to wildland fires when they occur and dive into the complex decision-making tools used by fire managers.